So hello guys, I just wanted to show off this new visual script node I created. So it's a asset on the asset library, you can just download and install it. And it has this little preview example. So here the left that is spawning is a GD script and the right that is spawning is a visual script rigid body instance and it always goes off with this timer, both of them. So why did I create this node? Well, Visual Script allows you to really easily create new constants or preload uh, scenes. What it does not allow you to do is access uh, node uh, classes. So rigid body, uh, collision shape, um, camera, basically anything that is on the object is not uh, directly supported so what did I do I created a node that is able to instantiate almost anything so for the class if you know exactly what class you need um, you can just type it in here um, and if you want a 3D version, we get the values with a vector 3D. So, um, why do you not get a pop-up uh, like here with a constant resource? This pop-up is an enumeration and if I would make one of all the classes, it would be 633 items long and I'm pretty sure you're not going to use any of them. Um, so you're going to use only the ones you know. So the other option we have here is to create any uh, asset that is in your folder structure. So here we have uh, one asset and that's the example scene. Um, it can create a new object of it and also what we can do uh, it is priority over the class instance so if you have both put in uh, we will load the new script and we can add any property so for let's say rigid body let's add angular velocity and here we have our float that's our angular velo velocity nothing much to say about that and it gets added in this list so if you ever want to change the order or just want to delete something you can do it right there you can also type in whatever you want there directly it will filter out um, variables that are useful or not so you don't have uh, the wrong input values you can use uh, the input port here directly or connect something, uh, some logic to it. And that's basically the entire node. How do you get it? Well, just new. And one option here is the sequence port. So if you do not use a sequence port you will always get a new object if you use a sequence port you create one new object and you always reference that object so that's the node itself as a little bonus I wanted to add uh, how do you preload a scene or instance a scene so let's create a new scene and uh, let's just take a basic node add attach a visual script create it yes save it yeah somewhere um, and let's take the ready function let's take our example scene Let's drag out that example scene and we get instance. Yay! So this is the part that my node uh, doubles it down on and replaces. Let's use that argument so we don't have to, uh, to see it anymore. OK. 
updated so our script a little bit smaller and now we have our first frustration and that is when we drag out um, the object or the sequence port we get uh, the packed scene if we drag out return we don't get anything because it doesn't know what it is so it doesn't give you a lot of hints so this is a point where you might get frustrated um, so here you have your basic type you can select it's exactly the same as extents for GD script so if you want to access the functions on this we just press the right mouse button or use Control F and then we can say add new add child and we don't want the object, we want the return value of the function because the object is a copy of this instance so let's save that run that and we've got our scene instanced 